Okay, how do we handle a calculation when more than just one mass is provided? So up until this point, any mass, mass problem we've looked at, we've only given you a quantity of one of the reagents. So these are called limiting reagent problems. So consider the following balanced chemical equation shown here. If 10 grams, grams of C8H18's octane reacts with 10 grams of O2, what mass of CO2 will form? All right, so my advice to you would be to handle this as if you were doing two separate mass mass problems start with the first quantity provided so convert 10 grams of C8 H18 all right into grams of carbon dioxide okay the question asks for mass of carbon dioxide so it tells you which product to look for all right so this is a mass mass problem all right that setup shown will give me grams of carbon dioxide. Now I'm going to set up the second calculation. 10 grams of O2 convert to moles. All right, then I'm going to apply the mole ratio of uh, CO2 to O2. So in this case this looks a little messy. It's uh, 16 moles of carbon dioxide for every 25 moles of oxygen that go through the equation. But again the final step is the same. 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide per one mole. All right, so at this point all right, everything's set up so that my units will work, so I'm going to break up my calculator here. All right, and we'll handle some of these conversions. All right, um, you can follow along as you like. I wish I would encourage you to try these problems that I have on the screen with your calculator as well. Make sure that you can get the same values that I get. All right, so uh, if 10 grams of octane react completely, they will produce 30.8 grams of carbon dioxide. Now let's have a look at oxygen. 10 grams of oxygen. Sorry about that. 10 grams of oxygen will yield uh, 8.80 grams of carbon dioxide. So only one of these two is correct and we know now that the 8.80 grams of carbon dioxide is correct because once this amount of carbon dioxide is formed, all 10 grams of O2 have run out, which means the oxygen is the limiting reagent, which means there's an excess of C8H18. So we say that octane is the excess reagent. All right, so question two was identify the limiting reagent. Well, you've done that by answering question one. Okay, how do we find out how much is left over? So the excess reagent reactant. All right, so we need to know of the 10 grams of octane, how much did we need? So in order to do that, let's start with the limiting reagent. The limiting reagent is oxygen. That's the one that's completely consumed. So you're going to perform a mass mass calculation that goes from the mass of the limiting reagent that was provided, so in our case 10 grams of O2 from the original question, right, we're going to determine how many mole, or sorry, what mass of octane, C8H18, did we need to use in order to completely react with those 10 grams of O2. So this is a mass mass problem from O2 to C8H18. All right, so the setup here will yield grams of C8 H18. All right. And what this is, this is the amount of octane so that required to react with the 10 grams of O2. All right. So this is what completely consumes the O2. And this is however much comes out of this is the amount required to produce the 8.80 grams of carbon dioxide. So again, at this point, this is just a calculator problem. All right, I can see that I need 2.86 grams of C8H18. All right, this is not the end of the problem. To calculate the excess, the excess means how much is left over. So I'm going to take the amount that I was given of octane, and I'm going to subtract the amount that I, that I needed, okay, so the amount required. So in our case, that's going to be the 10 grams of C8H18 that was provided and I'm going to subtract the 2.86 grams of C8H18 that was required to react with the O2. 
right? This is going to give me 7.1 grams of leftover C8H18. All right, this is so we would say there's a 7.1 gram excess of C8H18.